This work addresses communication challenges for future robotic exploration of large-scale complex environments such as planetary caves, subway networks, and tunnel systems. We propose CORD, Collaborative High Bandwidth Operations with Radio Droppables. The goal of CORD is to maintain high bandwidth links to multiple robots for efficient commanding and data gathering. The CORD network is composed of the base station, mobile robots, and static communication nodes. The communication nodes are carried and deployed by mobile robots. The deployed nodes build a communications network which allows the robots to explore further while maintaining communication to base. We use a hybrid of ROS1 and ROS2. Inter-robot communications is implemented with ROS2 to leverage its quality of service QoS features. The CORD system was tested during the Urban Circuit event of DARPA's Sub-T Challenge, where Team CoStar won first place. Four robots were deployed inside an unfinished power plant. The robot team rapidly explored the multi-level power plant, searched for objects of interest, and reported the observations to the base station. The robots autonomously explored unknown environments with occasional teleoperation when communication was available. The video shows the robot movements with communication links overlaid. Based on the link quality, the links are colored by green, orange, and red. Two robots were first sent into the course. The Vanguard robot communicated to the base station via the other robot. When the radio signals got weaker, the two robots dropped communication nodes and built a backbone network. Then the robots continued exploration and maintained communication with the base station using the backbone. The table shows timing statistics of various ROS topics. We set different QoS profiles for topics based on two major classifications. All reliable topics had 100% message delivery rate despite an intermittent network. Real-time topics also showed satisfactory performance with a nominal delay of less than 50 milliseconds for all topics. During periods of communication loss, reliable data topics are stored locally by ROS2 for later transmission. As shown in the time plot, the signal-to-noise ratio dropped and there was no data transmission for five minutes. When the radio returned to communication coverage, the data rate spiked when ROS2 transmitted stored data from Husky 4. Overall, our CORD system enables various capabilities for multi-robot exploration, such as collaborative map building, centralized mission planning, and teleoperation. This work encourages wider adoption of ROS2 in field robotics applications and opens possibilities to develop easy and durable multi-robot systems.